Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Lovely to be back streaming again. I hope everybody's having a good one. Aberrant Rose, thank you for that resubscription. Genuinely appreciated. Uh, thank you so much. 16 continuous months. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Hope everybody out there is having a good night tonight, avoiding the uh, whole election thing. So... We're going to be playing Beyond Two Souls. It's the first time I've ever played this game. I have no idea what it's about or any expectations. I've never watched a spoiler. I've never watched a Let's Play. I've never watched anything of that nature. So, new, continue, new, new remix order. I think, I think New Remix Order is meant to keep things in chronological order instead of it being like a back and forth chapter thing. I don't know though. We're just gonna put, we're gonna play it straight through a, a new game so that we figure it out. And uh, we are on fiber internet now guys, which I cannot, I cannot express to you how excited I am about this right now. I'm looking, uh, we've increased the, uh, we've actually increased our output to Twitch by a thousand uh, kilobytes, so from 3,500 to 4,500, and we're having absolutely no problems. This is this is so wonderful. Anyhow, with that said, guys, let's get into Beyond Two Souls and uh, whatever it's about. I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I just as well start here. That's pretty, pretty cool intro. I found you by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? <laughs> Got a pretty gnarly scar on our head there. Like contact. You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Is that a scar? Is that a recent? Okay. We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to them immediately. I like how the lights, the tail lights, make it look like blood. Goddamn That's pretty cool. So do we have like an 11 situation here? I know. They're coming. I'd say yes. Hold on, what's going on? Girl, you brought it earlier. Where is she? Blue Mage coming in with that resubscription. 26 months of continuous support. Thank you so much, Blue Mage. Appreciate you, man. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one. When the SWAT team raids the police department, you know something is somewhere has fucked up. Yeah, yeah. For for a, a uh, young girl.
It kind of makes me think of the game Fear, which is uh, one of my top five game series. First Encounter Assault Recon. Oh, shit! Is that Willem Dafoe? Jody, what have you done? Well, I like how the sheriff's not hurt and everybody who looks like they got fucked up was just the SWAT team. So, you know, that, that shows some kind of conscious decision only to defend yourself and not some kind of psychotic rampage. Oh shit, this is creepy. Ah, there you are. Oof. How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time. Okay. Yeah, this this totally feels like an 11 situation. Got us a nice little tutorial. What's this? Come on, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. Uh, at least dude's being nice, you know, for, for what little that overall means when you're, uh, like a kid in a research facility or something. I can always... I always feel better about interacting with people who were... Even though they were doing a bad thing, like... They were still nice to the individual. All right. Nathan's waiting for us. It doesn't make it any better, but it's like the guy who... Uh, it, um, what was his name? Nah, fuck that. What, what I'm... What I'm trying to say is, like, the guy who was Hannibal Lecter's nurse, if that makes sense. Because he was always nice and respectful to Lecter. Yeah, I'm not saying nice and evil. Like, uh, like Lecter's nurse is what I mean. I think his name was Barney. He was the only nice person to Lecter. And, uh, empathetic, Hello, even precious. though, you know, pretty today. Lecter had been, uh... Bound are. and chained and all that shit, and Barney Barney's actually the one who let him go. So, you know. I don't know, I'm gonna wander around. Hurry, Jody. Oh, okay. Alright, well fine. Don't have that context, but you think uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so we going hey, in here? Then? Oh boy. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. The controls are odd because they're a click and drag. That is Willem Dafoe. We're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oof. Oh yeah. Oh now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? I'm gonna throw you right through the window with my mind. Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Ace from the Justice League? Oh, okay. All right, let's go for it. I felt like a shrug was First card. necessary.
Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we got star. Next card. Oh, this is weird. I'm not familiar with Ace of the Justice League. Uh, come around her. Can I, can I move over there? All right, we got square. I feel like we shouldn't be answering these truthfully, too. I feel like, you know, this is just part Let's of a go. massive setup. But this whole projection thing is actually pretty fucking wicked. All right, we got water. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Oh, I, I'm trying to go through the two-way mirror, just in case. Good, Jody. All right. Anything else in the room you can move? <laughs> She's scared now. Oh, we could do it to her. Uh. Uh. No, we're gonna do it to the camera. Not about to. No reason to hurt somebody. No. We don't know how much of a participant she is in all of this. Oh, we got a free bag. About to go That's all carry. I'm sorry, but I'm done. Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked. I'm no, okay. okay. It's not locked. It's probably Get just stuck. Give here. us a moment. Get Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. Oof. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. No, I no Aiden. <laughs> Jody. It's over, Jody. It's over. It's over. Okay. It will never be over. Oh, that's fucking sad. <laughs> I feel sorry for the woman in the uh, other room. The experiment. Somebody else in obedience. Ooh. 66% stop the experiment. You and a percent of others have taken these paths. 75% left Kathleen alone. Yeah, yeah. No, no reason to hurt somebody. That's just... She's already terrified. So we did stop the experiment. Okay, that's... That's cool. Okay. Well, fuck, now I'm spooked. Wasn't gonna be before, but sure, let's throw that thing in. Ooh, hate it. Hey, honey. Can't spend the whole day looking out the window. Why don't you find something to do? <laughs> spend all day look out window. Press one. Like what? Flip shit and go all carry again?
Why is this little girl not outside playing in the snow? That's what I want to know, guys. I mean, aside from, you know, being a research subject. Let's, well, let's take a look around the house. So what do we got here? We got the TV. Oh, that's a nice little animation, how she swung her arms like that, idly. What if the entire game is set up whether or not you, the player, are a sociopath? They're just collecting the data. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's probably like look out the window again. Can we go out the door? We've got a door we can go out. Maybe, if they're not locked. Let's, let's talk to mom. Can we talk to mom? Come on, honey. I gotta get dinner ready. Oh. Can I have a cookie? It's almost dinner time, sweetheart. If you eat a cookie now, you'll eat your dinner. Oh, okay. Let's go look upstairs before we take any other route. Telltale Games found out too much about people based on their decisions, and so that's why they had to close down. <laughs> that's, that's some paranoid shit. The government knows. It's a shame what happened to the Telltale Studio, but I my understanding is they were treating their uh, developers like, you know, horse shit, so. Look in the mirror. Three, oh, three and left shift. Whoa, fuck me. Okay. You know what we are? We're done in the bath. We're done with this bathroom, guys. Fuck a bunch of that. Holy shit. Whew. Okay, let's, uh, Steam did put the fucking dead game collection back on as soon as the definitive, ed the definitive edition is amazing. I highly recommend it, guys, if you haven't played it and you're interested in the Walking Dead story, and not the comic book or TV story, right? But the actual Walking Dead story uh, that you can play through as a member, I would highly, highly recommend it. Man, this thing's going to be like full of spoops and shit, guys. I'm not, I was not ready for a potentially spoopy game. Okay. Ah, repeatedly press one. Got it. One, one and done, guys. We drew a picture of us in a vortex. That's... Lovely. Jody, honey, would you do me a favor? Could you get me a bottle of oil from the garage? Uh, sure, no problem. Okay, so just real quick, why does Ma need oil from the garage while she's cooking? Okay. Hey, Fairy Blossom. Do you want to come over to my house for tea? Oh, yes, I'd love to. Okie dokie, we'll go in my car. I love your car. Yeah, I, I actually want to back out of this really right now and go to the garage. Okay, so that means press repeatedly. Got it. Odd controls. Wait, wait, go, this way. It already scared the hell out of me. Yeah. I, I guess we're stuck what in this now, guys. House you have. Yeah, I love it a lot. My husband gave it to me for my birthday. Would you like there some sugar in your tea, Fairy Blossom? Oh, no, thanks. And how is your husband? He's good. He's working. Why, he's so handsome. Stop that, Isaac. 
I told you I didn't want to play with you anymore. Okay. Well, I mean, keeping cooking oil in the garage would be weird to me. I mean, mom's making shit with WD-40. Or, uh, you know, 10 weight. Man, there's a lot of stuff we can explore. Could be a bulk container, I suppose. Um, I'm not, I am not wanting to look in a mirror again, but we're going to. with her stuff so are we controlling like a do we have a fucking demon that's riding with us is that what this is because we saw the the face that Aiden projected in the mirror and that was not pleasant at all <laughs> the old bible we're about to get knocked out Psalms 119. I don't know what that is right off, but that's what she turned to. Oh no, just hold this is just hold one now. And and then what? Drag drag down? <laughs> Zunite. I don't I don't know if chat heard here or not. Uh I don't know if there's any way for us to get that box down. I I Okay. There's interact. Uh this is this is not gonna be good. We open this and something's gonna happen. What the fuck are you doing, kid? Oh, there's going to be some reason we have to hide in here. Psalms 119, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed are the children. So, okay, I have no idea what that box up there is. We can't interact with it now. Such a disobedient child won't... Why don't you get your poem? We're going Jody? to get mom's oil right now. Can you give me the oil? Coming. <laughs> Dinner is waiting. Waiting, mom. I still got another room to explore. Call police. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. This weather is terrible. All this snow? I hope it'll end up soon. Kids are so difficult when they can't go outside. <laughs> I didn't stop that. This is pretty normal for kids. If, yeah, yeah, it actually is. What's also disturbing about normal for kids is something really weird is going on, like Aiden, this other character. And she's just mellow about it because kids don't know, you know, they don't have that, that urge to disbelieve like adults do. So that's actually scary that she's just so cool with what's happening. Uh, I would say this is garage. Okay, anybody who would send their kid in here is just fucking asking for that kid to have problems the rest of their life. Fucking hell is that? No, none of this is okay, guys. 
What the hell are... Yeah! Okay, that, that, that's the furnace. This is probably the olive oil. Yep, there we go. Ah, oh, fuck. This game would be much better played right now with a webcam on, guys. You do... This game is, like, spooping me. What, can I not... Can I not go... Oh, that was apparently the exact opposite way that we went the first time. Which is fine. We'll skirt around the car. Ah, uh, shit. I'm here, honey. Are you okay? Okay. The shadows look like teeth. Oh, it's the light bulb, sweetheart. I've asked your father to change that a million times. I saw something there, Mommy. Well, you must have just imagined it. There's nothing. Look. Yeah, damn. That's... Oof. You know, sometimes adults imagine things, too. Like having a father okay. present. Okay, good. We can't go straight back in. Just, you know, being a little psychopath or something. Can't use that door. Hey, sweetheart. Why don't you go outside and play? I'll call you when dinner's ready. Hell yeah. Honey, put your coat on. It's freezing out there. Uh, where's my coat? Probably upstairs in the room we haven't looked in yet. Or the bedroom. Here? Yeah, coat and snowshoes. There we go. Ah, she cute. <laughs> Did that little bounce to get in the boots. Now I can be bored and freezing. You don't care, <laughs> do you, Addy? You never get cold. This girl's possessed. Got this little freeze our ass off slide. Yay, fun. I like the holiday decorations in the yard, though. And it's only one, but still. Kick around. We got a swing if we sit on. I'm sure we'll end up getting swung by Aiden. Come on, Aiden. Attack me. Ow, ow, that's cold. The kids. Oh no. Okay. I know we're not supposed to. Come on. We'll just play for five minutes and come back. Mom will never know. Oh no. <laughs> Up and around or uh, how? Come on, let's get it. These uh, Okay. <laughs> Mouse wheel up. 
scroll wheel. We're getting an ad for a different Switch streamer. Switch streamer. Oh yeah, yeah. I know the one you're talking about. I have guys. I have no idea how to. Uh, yeah, I am. I am doing a forward motion with the mouse right now. Controls. The controls are. You can at least give me a hand, Aiden. Aiden, you're the best. Oh, okay. So I guess we were just supposed to be failing that. Space bar, crawl through, up, move. Never mind the fact that our spectral friend just hey, Jody, blew down part of the fence. Come on, hurry up and hide then. You're gonna get cream. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. Ow. Gotcha. I'm gonna make huh? Oh, we got one. Okay. Little weird of a targeting system here. Oh, we got it down, though. Oh, we got hit in the ear. That's never fun. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then what? Left shift? Okay. <laughs> Bam! You're a dead little girl! I got you! No, no! I don't mean... No, no, stop! Oh. Oh. going on here she's a witch i'm telling you jody holmes is a witch come on come on let's go home come, come on get in the house okay what happened what were you doing in the street you know you're not allowed to leave the yard i saw the other kids playing i i just wanted to have some fun what did you do to that boy philip i didn't do anything i didn't do it he was trying to defend me. He thought... I'm sick and tired of your stories. Jody, this time you're really gonna get it. And now... <laughs> That'll teach you. Go to your room. Now! Wow, Dad's an ass. Get some sleep, sweetheart. Everything will be better. Yeah, that kid just watched a witchcraft documentary. Oh, ow, God. Mommy. I'm afraid of the monsters, Mommy. They're gonna get me. Aw. Honey, you know monsters don't exist. But I'll leave the light on in the door open, okay? Get some sleep, sweetie. I mean, good on mom, but when your kid, you know. Go away! I hate you. It's your fault my parents don't love me. You hear me? Go away! You shouldn't get so angry with her, Philip. She's just a little girl. Little girl? We've seen each other. Susan, that's not a little girl. That's Susan. That's a monster. 
don't you dare talk about her like that. The things that are happening around her, they're not normal. And they're getting stronger, for the love of God. Susan, what's to stop her from turning on us? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Treating her well. Susan, that thing is like an uncontrollable animal. We have no idea what it's capable of. We have a demon living with us right under her own roof. Susan, this is going to stop. And it's going to stop now. Before we end up crazy or dead. We agreed to look after a little girl, Susan, but not this. Not this. Wow. Can I pull his chair out? Can I stab him with a dinner fork? What are my options here, people? None of the above, just to listen to them talk shit about us. Up we go. Oh, something spoopy's gonna happen here, guys. Well past the point. Of, yeah, definitely past the point of calling a priest. We need a old priest and a young priest. The way you said agreed to look after. Yeah, it sounds like they, they're a government family. There's no reason to be scared, Ivan. We're going to sleep and nothing is going to happen. Of course we got our plushie. Gotta love the plushie. The power of Christ compels you. And a poor little girl with a, like, ally demon or whatever, but there are other monsters. This is... I hate that toy. Monsters came. You told me monsters didn't exist. You were wrong, mommy. You were wrong. Oh shit! That poor girl. Only thirty-one percent got locked in the garage. 89% didn't eat a cookie. Okay. 73% of us behaved well. All right. So, we're, so our, we're well behaved. And 81% missed the shoebox. I didn't miss it. I couldn't figure out the damn controls to get it. That's fine. Oh, we're back. And we're eating. Do we want to do something spoopy or do we want to sit next to her? Oh, that's her jacket. See, your belt we're in trouble, so cut it out. Hey, you're replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of me from now on. Jody, he's waiting for you. What's that? We got we got some we can interact with right there. Don't take the kid to the government. I know, right? Shh. Uh, okay. But how do? I'm trying to hop back into Jody. Oh, it's it. Well, it should have been shift. I think, isn't it? Tab. Tab.
Come on, hurry up. Okay, so so Tab is ghost mode. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. So this is how we met him. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat and get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. Heartsy's coming in. A resubscription of 11 months. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the channel, Heartsy's. I hope you're having a good night tonight. And then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? And it doesn't look like any of my stuff is updating. Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? I mean... Can you draw him from me? There we go. We got it updated now. Thank you again so much for that resubscription, Heartsies. How are you tonight? Okay, let's draw this uh, invisible friend. Uh, what do I make? Okay. Play one, 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 one. You just had a long stress nap. How are we? Doing good. Uh, playing here Beyond Two Souls, it is a very interesting game that has already not failed to spook me. <laughs> Mind if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? Nah, we're not going to show Aiden off. Well, maybe he'll show up later. After we get to know each other a little better, right? Did he do that to you? No. That was the monster. At the very least, this guy seems to... I mean, evil government spoop, yeah, but... He seems to, uh... 76% of us drew Aiden, 19% of us didn't show off Aiden's powers. <laughs> All right. He seems, you know, nice. Of course, you know, evil is as evil does. Oh, God, the, 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 the parents are just ditching her. It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see. Time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. 
I hate the dad. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I feel so sad for her, but I hate the dad. I wish Aiden would just... Uh, yeah, yeah. I wish Aiden would just turn him inside out. Grab his tongue and pull it out through his asshole. You want to bet she'll never see those two again? Yeah, dude, that's the feel I'm getting. Oof. Cody, I know it's hard leaving your home and your family. But here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Defoe, the, the, the doctor who Defoe is playing, looked genuinely concerned. Right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call him. We'll come right away. But I, I'm not ready to trust the government folks. Good night, Jody. How could you just, like, lock her up in that room and say good night? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Hearts. He's empathetic, but definitely a government guy. 110%. How could you just lock her up like that? Like, there should be somebody, like, in the living room or something, especially on the first night. Just, you know, a comfortable presence for the child. Yeah, just... Oh, we got the uh, we got the bunny. So, we got our I'm favorite gonna... stuffy. Let's see where we're going to sleep tonight. Bunny Gruff. Got a TV... Shit, this is bigger than my college dorm. Yeah. Oh, hate that. Hate, 110% hate that. That, to me, is worse than the cameras, guys. Like, cameras, you know your privacy's being invaded, but a two-way mirror like that? Nah, fuck that. Yeah. Observation window? Uh-uh. All right, I'm I'm holding it and what down now? Or do I just tap it or what? Bet you never leaves in the living room. Getting late. Yeah. Bedtime, Oof. Jody. Your pajamas are on the couch. I got a fucking intercom. No, I'm loud. Well, I guess I couldn't get in there after all. But we got PJs. Why does the kid have fucking stovetop? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, there's my pajamas, but I can't do shit with them. This, this does absolutely nothing for telling me what I need to do to interact with this. I've unlocked a new bonus. Touches shit. Oh, God. It's not even a hallway window. It's in... That makes it worse to me, guys. Ain't nothing I can do to grab the PJs. So something else has to happen, I assume. What do we got that Aiden can play with in here? If, if there's a camera in here, I'll flip my shit. Okay. Oh, we got a little computer. That's, that's cute.
Do we need Aiden to get the PJs for us or what? What's going on here? Okay, nothing. Like, I'm not trying to shit on the, the game or anything, but the control scheme for this... I think this is a PS4 import. The control scheme is just terrible. Okay. Uh, what? Try and run away? It must be something to do with Aiden, then. But... I can't go anywhere? Stand while playing Barbie Dreamhouse. Well, thank you for telling me why, where my pajamas are, but not giving me uh, any way, direct way it seems to interact with any of them. I'm just going to turn the stove on and burn this fucker down. It is stuff with Aiden in the other room. She calls him Aiden. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting yelled at. They're like, you're not saying it right. And I'm like, I'm, I'm doing what I'm, I'm talking like the kid does. Okay, there's the, there's the umbilical back. Our, our options. What do you got for me here? Base roll on the keyboard. Yeah. I don't think I can turn the TV off or change the, hang on, there's cha there's a remote control over here. Is that like a progress tracker or something? Okay, Aiden can move here. Or back here. Into the bathroom, right. Or. I don't know, I feel kind of dumb because I honestly don't know what the game wants from me right now. Like if I move over the couch, what? I can see him closer, I can read the magazine. I've got no prompt to interact with anything. I'm getting laughed at heartily right now. There's, there's nothing I can see to interact with. Oh, this is frustrating. Yeah, the red spots are jump points for the ghost. Places that he can move. But I've, I've already been everywhere, as far as I know. I don't... Maybe it's possible we're bugged out. Oh, prog progress since last save will be lost. I don't know how, when it decided to do that. But there was a, th a thing here, an option that just never worked. Now it's gone. We're going to reload. Yeah, the, the the orange are like jump points for Aiden. Oh, look at that. Right. Now we can get them, guys. To we were bugged. We, we were just fucking bugged. Go 
if they haven't put cameras in here too. Yeah, same here, kiddo. Oh, she got little bunny pajamas. That's cute. Saw all that and we were just bugged. Hey, where's the bunny? Oh, we got to reopen the suitcase. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess not. There we go. Come on, Bunny Graph. Let's see where we're going to sleep tonight. Is there anything new I can interact with? Like the oven? Okay, turn on the gas. No, oh, okay. Guess not. Uh We'll see if we can still get that achievement or whatever was over here in the corner. Oh, now both of them are here? That's weird. You know when the attack started? Her mother told nope. me that they had been going on for months. At first she thought they were nightmares and that she would get used to it. Then... Oh, no. Go back, go back. Marks on her body. They look like scratches or bites. Can you see where these wounds are located? She couldn't have done this. And it doesn't look like child abuse. It's a fun fact, guys. When I was little... I she's telling the truth. Yeah, the bonus is Aiden. Maybe something is trying to kill you. Looks like it's gone. Because it was right there in the corner. Well, whatever the case, that's one brave little girl. It's a fun fact, guys. When I was a, a little kid, I used to wake up with scratches and shit all over me. Including my back. Sure. And it was like three scratches. You know how it's supposed to be the uh, mark of the beast when that happens? You look beat. Why don't you go up to bed, I'll, uh... So, yeah. <laughs> you know, fun. Off to bed now, Jody. Don't you tell me my business. Pocket demon. There we go. That's the exact same kind of bed I had in college, too. Look at all this flat pack furniture. I'm gonna turn out the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait. Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. You're gonna have a good night's sleep, and nothing is gonna happen. It's whenever I roll over that the attacks come, I think. Now we try and sleep. The kid sleeps like I do, sleep, though. Aiden. You gotta roll Something back and forth, story. back and forth. That was nice until the monsters came. Holy shit! Get help, Aiden, quick! Dude, you dumbass. Wake up. Oh, what the? Ooh. 
Oh no, the hell you don't. Alright, I have no idea what we are if we're not a demon. Trying to kill this kid. My God, Jody! Get a doctor! Hurry! Because none of these guys are doctors. It's okay. It'll be all right now. Hayden isn't scared of them anymore. That's foreboding as hell. Entity's Apprentice. First night, you and 87 didn't spy on Dawkins and parents? I didn't realize that was an option when we were fooling around as Aiden. Vanquished the entities, 95% of us did that. 90% woke up Cole. <laughs> 